Hi. Today we are going to perform antibiotic sensitivity test. Most common Kirby Bauer disc diffusion method. Requirements here we can see Muller Hinton agar plates, Bunsen burner, forceps, nucleating loop. Test organism and McFarland densitometer. So here we have test organism in McConkey agar lactose fermenter clonies. So organism is gram negative bacilli. Take two to three pure isolated clonies. In this normal slime and mix. Properly in this way. Now measure density. Here you can see 0.5 mac for land concentration standard that we need okay so now this one is swipe stick dip into this inoculum and rotate this way okay Swab in this way. Rotate the plate at 60 degree three times. In this way, you will get uniform distribution of test organism. Similarly, do another plate. So here you can see the diameter of this battery plate is only 80 mm. So according to WHO, the depth of Muller Hinton agar should be 4 mm. The diameter of disc is 6 mm. Disc to disc distance between the should be 25 mm and this to border 15 mm this basis we can only put for discs okay that's why we have check in two petri plates to cover first line drugs okay so drugs are taken according to the nature of test organism after overnight incubation, here we can see this type of zone of inhibition we got. So now measure zone of inhibition all of drugs in this way. Now compare this reading according to CLSI standard chart for antimicrobial sensitivity test. So zone of inhibition effectively is 20 mm. Now compare this one with this chart. Here you can see. Yes, to be sensitive more than 18, but here we have 20, that's why sensitive, isn't it? Here we can see cotrium oxazole, that is trimethoprim, sulfamethoxazole. That's why sensitive. Now about ofloxacin. 
this is the intermediate zone so that come under this intermediate zone that's why i that is intermediate yes for sensitive in this way we became able to perform antibiotic sensitivity test i hope this clip will be helpful if any confusion write on comment box